another day, another deposition in the case against Casey Anthony, her lawyer asking tough questions of that childhood friend of Casey's, who you see entering the Orange County Courthouse with the big bodyguard. Keel Marie's Torres Cruz is one, the one who told the National Enquirer that she and Casey would bury their childhood pets in the same area that investigators would later find Kaylee's body. Holly Bristow was at the courthouse when Cruz arrived. Any idea what went on in that deposition behind closed doors, obviously, Holly? Well, those details about burying ch childhood pets in that area where Kaylee's remains were found was a topic of conversation. It's something that she spoke exclusively with the National Enquirer about, and Jose Baez said he intended to ask her many questions about this article, including how much she was paid. Kia Marie Torres Cruz ignored the cameras as she walked into the state attorney's office for defense depositions this morning. She's dropped some big bombshells in the case against her childhood friend, Casey Anthony. First, she said she offered to adopt Kaylee. She also told investigators to look for Kaylee in this wooded area on Suburban Drive, where she and Casey used to hang out. Bombshell number two came in this December issue of the National Enquirer, just days after a meter reader found Kaylee's remains. Cruz told the tab that she and Casey used to bury their pets there. That's a claim that interests Jose Baez, Casey Anthony's attorney. That's certainly uh, something we're going to inquire about. The National Enquirer paid Cruz $20,000 for that exclusive interview. Cruz told the MAG as kids they called this area the zone. They'd go there dressed in black and read prayers as they buried their dead hamsters. Attorney Brad Conway represents Casey's parents. He calls Cruz's story a bunch of bull. These were not close friends. They were childhood friends. They didn't bury their animals uh, back there. I'm sure that some of the children in the neighborhood did, but Casey did not. Conway says that selling her story to a tabloid kills Cruz's credibility in court. When there's a financial motive for your story and you've sold it to a, a rag like the Inquirer, I don't think it uh, does anything for anybody's credibility. Conway went on to say that Casey Anthony grew up with dogs and cats in the house, not the types of animals that kids would bury back there. One more thing you need to know, Jose Baez thought that this article would only kill Kia Marie Cruz's credibility if she uh, strayed from what she said in this article or if it was dramatized quite a bit from the way things really were. Reporting live at the courthouse, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. All right, Holly, thanks. The depositions for the criminal case will resume tomorrow on tap. Three corrections officers who work inside the Orange County Jail, along with private investigator James Hoover, who's worked in the past for the Anthony family. And then in the civil case, which is the case against Casey Anthony, not involving the murder charges, Casey's parents will be deposed in the civil case next week.